All right, what we're gonna be talking about in this video is Boo. It's breathing ozonides through oil. So what do we need specifically for this? As always, what we need is we need our generator, we need our oxygen and our regulator. Those are always set up, but this is where the magic's gonna happen with this. We have our stem. Now, what you're gonna notice a uh, difference here, and I always like to point this out, is when we do uh, water bubbling, the stem is completely different. So you can see the stem on this has more of a little bolus on the end. So it actually has a, a larger amount of ozone that's actually being to go into the oil. So that's a good thing to, to notice. You don't want to mix the two. Um, the other thing, again, is making sure that we're setting this on a soft place. We have had so many people that have laid this down on a hard surface, accidentally broke the stem. This is glass, so we don't want that to happen. So that's on a soft place. We have our hydrophobic filter that's in here, which we're going to discuss the reason for that in a moment. And we have, again, flask. We already have this with oil in it, but you also want to make sure that you have oil. Uh, we typically recommend using extra virgin cold pressed olive oil. You're probably going to get the best results doing that and the longest amount of time to reuse with this. What do we utilize this for? Um, we're going to utilize this for lung type conditions, um, even sinus and allergy type conditions. Um, again, there's a tremendous amount of research that actually shows the benefits of using ozonides for this. Now, you really want to make sure um, that you understand what you're getting from this. You are not breathing in ozone. You are breathing in ozonides. Now, what is the difference there? We understand that our lungs do not have that antioxidant buffering system. That is why we don't want to breathe in ozone. But ozonides are safe. In fact, we've been able to take ozone running through this bubbler coming out on the other end, and then actually the ozone regular that tells us the, the actual amount of ozone that would be coming out shows no ozone. So you we know that when we're breathing this, we're breathing direct ozonides. And what are typically ozonides? Like peroxide, um, which actually increases oxygen utilization. So breathing that in through the sinuses, through the lungs is actually going to help uh, actually help to get rid of and help to mitigate uh, stress within the lungs and the sinuses. So very, very beneficial, utilized a lot. I want to make a disclaimer first and foremost that this is not an FDA approved therapy. Um, you always want to speak with your physician first before starting any new therapies. And these treatments and these modalities and therapies are not here to treat, cure, or prevent any sort of disease. The information that we're providing today is for educational purposes only. Again, what we need are these things right here. So what we want to make sure we do is we pour this in. If you begin to get irritation when you're doing this treatment, typically what that means is you don't have enough oil within your flask. And so you want to make sure that you increase your oil. You can actually do this treatment typically about 30 times with the same oil. What you'll notice when it's time to switch your oil is that that oil will become more clear um, or it'll begin to get pasty. You want to then remove that and replace it with fresh oil. So again, you can reuse that multiple times. The other thing that you need here is the nasal cannula. Um, so this is what's going to go into the nose. It's going to be directly connected to this. Um, so I'm going to show you how to hook that up right now. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to take your stem and we're going to insert that directly into the flask. Now, as before, what we want to look at is this flask, we have a centerpiece coming out right here. This is always going to be the piece that goes directly to the generator. So we want to make sure that we take that and we want to insert that into the ozone output on the generator. So we have that hooked up. We have our hydrophobic flask. The reason for this is to create safety so the ozone or the oil does not come back up and through the flask into the generator. If that ever does happen, you need to replace the hydrophobic flask, um, uh, hydrophobic filter, uh, because it will not be able to get flow back through it again. On the other side, what we have here is where the ozonides are actually going to be coming out. So what we do is we take this piece right here and we want to connect that directly to the nasal cannula. Nasal cannula is very easy to put on. What you have are the two pieces right here. They're going to go into your nostrils. So what you'll do is you take that, put it into the nostrils, bring this up, and it goes around your ears. And there's a little device right here that actually will cinch it up so it stays right in there. And now I look super awesome. You want to look awesome just like me. Pretty simple. Here we go. So next thing we want to do is actually get the generator started. So we're going to make sure that our oxygen is on. So open up. Regulator is here. With this, we're actually going to be doing a setting of 628 gamma. 
again, for any type of protocol, frequency, dosing, make sure that you check out the link below that those protocols are in right now. So we're gonna turn this on to a setting of six. And there we go. So right now, only oxygen is actually going. You can look at the flask and you can actually see that it is bubbling. So we know that we're getting flow and then we just have to turn on the generator. Push that button. And now I am breathing ozonides, increasing the effectiveness of oxygen utilization to my lungs, sinuses, and I'm having a good time. Typically we're gonna be doing this for anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, again, check out the protocols below. It's gonna give you the frequency, the dosage, and how long you should be doing this on a regular basis. All right, so I've just finished a treatment and I want to disconnect. So first thing that I'm gonna do is actually turn off my generator. The generator's turned off. The next thing that I wanna do immediately, even before I turn off this, is I actually wanna disconnect this just to make sure nothing is gonna be going back in the generator. I come over to my regulator, shut that off. This is turned off. The flow is done. I can remove the nasal cannula and the treatment is over.